Happy Memorial Day. Let's get ready for the pool. Hope everyone's getting their pool ready. Weather here is looking nice, sunny. It's not nice or sunny. It's snowing. And it's May. Ridiculous. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do you need a drink? Please, actually, Sorry, you know, that's a good card. idea. What thank you. Two coffee. All right, Have thank you. Coffee. You too as well. Take thank care. You. Hey, hey you. You eyeballing me? You looking for trouble? Yeah, you. I see you. Who told you to come over here? Keep walking. Keep walking. Don't ignore me. Hey! Hey! That's it. I'm getting out of the car. Better run away. Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Happy Mother's Day. Oh, thank you. Give me the revealing. Oh. Wow. Cinnamon buns. Wow. Oh, cannoli donuts. <laughs> Stop. Happy Mother's Day! Amazing. Happy Mother's Shout Day. Shout out for Brooke. Bye bye. Happy Mother's Day! All right, so now that these are all seasoned up uh, with the Thai style sweet chili sauce and the teriyaki sauce. We're just going to let them sit uh, in the refrigerator for a couple hours, let them get all that nice flavoring, and then we'll put them right on the griddle. All right, so we're going to start our cook now. Get the stuff on the lens. Clean it off. Just made a little fire sitting outside. Aww. Hi. Quick little fire. Set the mood. Nice day out today. We're enjoying it. Got back from a walk. Now we have these beautiful. Can't say it right. Sweet Thai chili. Thai chili sweet. Whatever. Thai chili. Sweet Thai chili 
wings and teriyaki ginger garlic wings as well a little asian inspiration tonight heating up the griddle shout out again to trivius awesome selections great ipas killing it down in milford highly recommend you uh check them out tonight we're going to be using the blackstone peanut oil to coat our griddle and we're going to cook with peanut oil to give it that uh nutty flavor tonight noelle doesn't that's our dog lola she's a senior citizen hi lola that's lola she's how old now 30 13 13 right lola good girl okay and then we're just gonna take our rag and wipe it down grills nice and clean we're ready it's go time get that peanut oil on there happy face for a happy time so we're gonna have all our zones right now on medium so all four zones on medium I'm just gonna take my spatula and spread around that peanut oil now again using peanut oil tonight just to give a little bit more of that nutty flavor Grill surface has been preheating now for about probably 12 minutes, getting it nice and hot. They had it all preheated on high to start off. Just coat it up a little bit. Not too much, but I want to make sure all surfaces are glazed. Uh, all right, that's looking good. And we will start off with the teriyaki, garlic, and ginger. Now the thighs, um, so the uh, drumsticks are going to cook much faster. So on this zone, I'm going to have the wings, and over here, I'm going to put the drumsticks. Make sure we're dipping them all. Got the wings going over here. It smells delicious. Already, I can smell the sesame oil the ginger, the garlic. It really smells good. Tess, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Does it smell like the Far East? Yeah. All right, so we have those wings on. Looking good, smelling good. And then now we have our sweet Thai chili. A little bit heavy. I got these wings uh, at a local fresh market. They had a 10 pound bag. So again, we're doing a pre-cook for the week. We'll have some today for appetizers. Jessica from Mother's Day wanted takeout. So we got Anthony's restaurant. Uh, I used the Slice app today for the first time. It's actually a really nice app. I guess it connects with local pizzerias. And uh, really is intuitive. Gives you like delivery time, you can choose your time slot. But obviously, a lot of mothers are not cooking today. Hopefully, the fathers are out cooking. I'm trying to do my part. Please make some appetizers. Uh, these are looking great. Now, before I put them on the grill, I just kind of like give them a quick sauce in the pieces just to make sure they're fully coated. Like I said, they were sitting in the refrigerator for about two hours. I think you saw them uh, being done last. And these are pretty meaty drumsticks, as you can see. But right now, I mean, it smells like, I mean, it smells like a Chinese food restaurant, which yeah. is good for appetizers. Okay. Those are done. I'm gonna space these out. Give them some breathing room. Kind of agitate them a little bit. Get them all going. Burner set to three quarters. The wing section here specifically, I have on kind of low. 
just to see how they do compared to the uh, drumsticks. And I have uh, disposable trays that I'll be using. I picked up two for five. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to group these as best as I can and let them cook, cook off in sections. I probably could have used two more trays, but I figured I'd just try them out and these for now. So I'll do my best to get them under. It's not a big deal. You have some sticking out, no big deal, but just to give it a little steam while it cooks. All right, so I just removed the covers from them. Uh, I usually kind of like get them to like 145, which they're at right now. We're going to go for an internal temperature of like, I like, it's 165 technically, but you can do, I like to be around 175, 180, just to be super sure. Uh, and right now I took the covers off, this way they can start crisping up, because right now with the covers on, they're steaming, and with the covers off, the skin should start tightening up. But right now, it smells good. So let's check the temperature. I recommend you having a thermometer gauge. This one is a Thermal Pro. Got it off Amazon. Shout out Amazon if you want to sponsor me. We are at one, 160. So coming up to temperature. And obviously you want to check the biggest ones first. So this one's at 170. 160. Temperature check. I like to click to 170. Let's see, 172. Perfect. Done. I like to do two of them. 174. Perfect. Done. All right. Check these bad boys out. 174. Good. 170. 180. All right. Wings are definitely done. Okay. Time to plate. First ones we're going to take off are our teriyaki. Those are looking good. I highly recommend grabbing these uh, disposable trays. It just makes everything super simple. It smells like a roasted egg roll. Mm -hmm. But you can definitely smell that uh, peanut oil. Super excited to clean this griddle top. This is probably the <laughs> messiest, messiest uh, griddle top I've ever seen. But it's I'm assuming it's because of all the uh, caramelization, all the uh, honey and ginger and garlic. So looking forward to that. All right, taste test next. You know the deal, griddle father. I gotta do a pairing because I know a lot of food channels they don't even do pairings but the griddle father does pairings we're gonna pair a sweet Thai chili duck sauce combination with our tribus mm. wash it down Awesome. I tell you guys, you guys at Trivis, you really kill it. Keep doing big things. Hope you had an awesome day. Happy Mother's Day. Griddle Father.